the Torah, the first five books of the Hebrew Bible, there's a people, the Jews, that don't believe in idols. A majestic story unfolds, one that's been passed down in different stories that are told. It consists of the creation of the world, the revelation of Jew law, and the liberation of Jews from slavery. An act that is viewed as unsavory, but instead of fighting, our nation just wants to make peace. The Torah inspires Jews to seek justice and show kindness, which is often not seen in a world full of ignorant blindness. The Jews accepted God's ideals as their responsibility, an act that can be viewed as showing dedication and docility. The Jewish faith has changed with time, but the values have endured. Like money in a bank, the values are still secured. The story of the Jews is a never-ending journey across continents and centuries, persecuted by so many countries after 4,000 years of cultural encounter with nations such as Greece, Rome, and Babylon. The Jews' culture flourished like a flower. Through their long history, Hebrew's core language they spoke, the community strengthened solely by memory and hope. What role does faith play in your Jewish narrative? My life is a Jewish person depends on my belief in God and I believe in God mainly because I feel very strongly about my Jewish identity. What role does faith play in your Jewish narrative? plays a very large role um, in fact every day um, I believe um, I act based on my on my faith, and I I believe in God, so I do believe that things happen for a reason. And when I really need something to happen and want something to happen, I I put it in my faith and I put it out there, and I and I leave it up to the universe to bring it to me. The Jewish narrative will never disappear if we show passion, dedication, and even show fear. We must follow the Ten Commandments, bless the Torah, and revere. Started 6,500 years ago, now we're here. We must spread the story so these modernized Jews are clear that our past, present, and future shouldn't be feared. By personalizing our story, we make it our own. We rely on rituals as our community grows. Preserving the narrative is a paramount fulfillment. It's a parent's duty to pass the story on to their children. Do you have an essential story that defines your Jewish community? Growing up in Israel and moving to the United States at age of 12, I'm very clear on who I am and where I come from and my strong connection to Israel. I try to maintain that by staying in touch with my family and friends in Israel as much as I can, visiting Israel, and uh, passing that on to my children who are growing up in the States, making sure they have that same connection as I did. Do you have a narrative or an essential story that defines your Jewish community? I sure do. Um, I come from South Africa, and we grew up in an Orthodox environment, so we used to go to synagogue every Friday night and Saturday morning with my um, parents and my siblings. And we, I, didn't, I never went to a Jewish day school, like you were, for, you were fortunate enough to go to. And um, by just going to synagogue and going to, you know, going to the High Holy Days and celebrating Pesach and Rosh Hashanah, um, knowing that my parents came from Lithuania and knowing that, that the, you know, the Yiddish they spoke, has created like a my narrative basically to be able to pass it on to you and Jordan.
The answer lasts a moment, but the commitment continues. It's the values and traditions of our people that are imbued. As David Suiza said, there's more than one item on the menu. Further described in Genesis, Abraham was skeptical. He stated, how will I know that I'll inherit the land of Israel? Shem responded, cementing his relationship with Abraham and his descendants, promising to protect us if we follow his Ten Commandments. Was there a moment within your narrative where your faith was challenged? Did you feel that, was there any time in your life that being a Jew, that you ever considered lying about being a Jew or, or where you felt uncomfortable by, as being a Jew? Um, I mean, I don't really think that was a part where I had to lie about being a Jew because uh, like, I'm not in that type of community where I need to lie. But um, I think that my faith in God has been challenged at some points when times in my life where there are um, events that just keep telling me that something, some energy is against me, I, I start to think about how God may be, may be rebelling against me, which seems hard to believe, but at the time, I like, I... That my faith in God just dimin diminished a little bit. So, yeah. A myth, an intrinsic characteristic. Not measured by reality, we need not be realistic. A resolution to answer questions. Myths are not capricious inventions. Emerging from personal experience, they derive from various dimensions. Tradition, personal beliefs, what do you believe in? We must find a balance. A lack of either results in the absence of true faith, tradition, individuality, and confidence. A modernized world played by ignorance and affluence. Is there a, differ a difference between your Jewish narrative and your general narrative? Today, I don't feel that there is a difference. When I was younger, I probably had two different narratives. As I mature, and get older, I the difference completely disappeared. I see. Was there a moment within your narrative where your faith was challenged? Yes. Most recently. This year when I lost my first nephew. He unexpectedly died. Being very young. And I did, I did have doubt, I have to admit. Communities create our identity and explain our motives. Jews can unite as one instead of being corrosive. We must have dedication for our nation, despite all the hating. Israel's is our foundation to provide the narration. Faith does not remain static. While it is didactic to maintain it, one must be emphatic. Like the Pharisees, the Essenes, and Sadducees. Despite the destruction of the Second Temple, faith persevered just like the Maccabees. Why do you think the Jewish narrative survived so long? The Jews have been passionate, loyal, and passed on the parables through songs. How do you express a strong commitment towards God? I express a strong commitment towards God by lighting my candles on Friday night and saying a prayer and having my family around me, inviting close friends and family, and feeling my Jewishness, and giving thanks to God for everything I've gotten, and being grateful for everything that I have, and for having two beautiful children, healthy, and a beautiful husband, and um, for letting me be on this planet healthy. Um, so what rituals do you identify with? Well, in Judaism, I guess the rituals are celebrating Hanukkah and Pesach and Rosh Hashanah and all the big holidays and the small ones and just understanding the Bible and going through, you know, having you guys go to a private Jewish school and being able to identify all the holidays. I missed that as a child because I never went to a Jewish day school and I always feel... Um, I'm not, inf not inferior, but I always feel inadequate because I feel like you guys were so fortunate to be able to, you know, be able to learn about all the Jewish traditions, but I have been, been able to keep that up. And um, those are my strong values, to be able to make sure that you guys follow in, those, in, that, in my footsteps. 
The Jewish narrative is not about rehearsal. More importantly, it's about keeping our story universal. Passing on like Abraham did at Mount Sinai. Forty days and forty nights, he kept the traditions alive, carving out the Ten Commands for our nation to reunify. Persecuted for so many years, encountered many obstacles and shed many tears, but we endure and continue to pass down our Jewish story by ear, growing as a nation so that one day we will fully cohere. Persecuted for so many years, encountered many obstacles and shed many tears, but we endure and continue to pass down our Jewish story by ear, growing as a nation so that one day we will fully cohere.